Good morning, LT, and welcome back to Vanguard TV. I'm Megana Kuchipudi. And I'm Daniel Price. On today's episode, we'll discuss the new assistant principal, the school's production of Little Women, and much more. With the new semester have come various changes in Lebanon Trail, one of those being the promotion of Mrs. Cologne from math department head to assistant principal. Vanguard TV found out more about her journey to this role and what she envisions for the future of LT. As the school year continues, there are often changes that occur at each campus, including promotions of teachers to new positions. Recently at LT, Ms. Cologne, previously an algebra teacher and head of the math department, was named as a new assistant principal at the school. I don't intend to make major changes. If anything, I intend to make major relationships with kids. Um, and continue to grow the culture and the spirit. Previously, Ms. Cologne was a student of Dr. Deuce. She was an excellent student, very personable, very encouraging. Throughout her years of teaching algebra and eventually serving as a department head, Cologne has had the opportunity to further develop her leadership abilities. She had like a lot of advice for me outside of school and like also just in algebra too. She help me learn all of Algebra 2. One of her objectives in her new role is to impact the school significantly in positive ways. I am super excited to be an assistant principal at Lebanon Trail. This is a dream of mine. It was one of my goals that I set for myself. For Cologne, having the chance to serve as an assistant principal is a dream come true and an achievement in which she has put tremendous effort as well as dedication of her time and When I saw that skill set that she had, I knew that eventually she'd be a great campus administrator. And so when she applied, I was able to look back on our history, uh, worked with her here for six years, and I've seen her grow as a teacher, I've seen her grow as a leader, I've seen her grow at coaching people to achieve their goals. While Cologne has already begun some of her duties as an AP, I'm Blakely Jamison reporting for Vanguard TV. Lebanon Trail offers a variety of electives from which to choose. Dean Sainju discovered how fashion design can be beneficial for students' futures. The clothes individuals wear are part of their identities that often reveal aspects of their personalities. Knowing how to make your own clothes can prove to be an essential skill for someone seeking to put his or her own unique twist on attire. From teaching students to sew their own clothes to putting outfits together, Mrs. Fisher, LT's fashion design teacher, helps her students increase their fashion knowledge and pursue potential futures in the fashion industry. Benefits of taking fashion design, you learn how to style things differently, you learn how to sew, stitch, repair our clothes, alter our clothes make them just a little bit more fabulous. This class benefits me in the future because I feel like I can learn more about proportions and how clothes fit me and how they fit other people and especially in other industries that require things that may involve stitching or just overall like the reshaping of clothes. That just like helps when you're choosing outfits if you're particularly interested in being well dressed and not boring. This course can help open up multiple different career pathways in fashion and design for students interested in such fields. Additionally, the class allows students to elements and principles of interior design which can be beneficial later in life when decorating one's household. A lot of people who join my class, they're fashion people, they're theater people, they are already working in retail or they think they want to go forward in some kind of career path like that. I have a lot of people who are really into making their own web pages or their TikTok videos and so they want to get in here so they can figure out different ways to style themselves for stuff like that. I'm Dean Sainjou reporting for Vanguard TV. Making New Year's resolutions is a tradition practiced by many individuals, including students at LT. However, not all of these newly acquired habits survive through January. Tanya Maddy has more information on why people choose to make resolutions and how they try to make them last. Many individuals consider New Year's to be a blank slate, a brand new opportunity to set and achieve goals. More people than usual can typically be found in the gym or the vegetable aisle in grocery stores in the first few days of January. Although the urge to create a better lifestyle does not always last the entire year. I feel the reason people urge to change at the beginning of the year because it's like a fresh start, fresh year. Most of the time people fail their New Year's resolution because they set unrealistic goals or um, they don't set like checkpoints. The proper way is to probably just, like I said, set those checkpoints, but maybe break it down month by month. Though it may be difficult to break old habits, seeking out support from friends and family is an option to stay persistent with goals during the new year. 
Making an attainable goal is another way to ensure consistency throughout the ensuing months. By making sure the goal is realistic and achievable, the chances of reaching that desired checkpoint increase. I think people are motivated to make resolutions to achieve goals. Are they want to get more experience in something? What motivates them is probably people around them doing the same thing, and to get something else done in life. Really, my New Year's resolution this year was to increase my vertical jump by the start of next year. I made a resolution to be healthier and lose weight this year just from being unhealthy from COVID and stuff. Numerous students at LT will continue to persevere and continue their New Year goals throughout the year. I'm Ton V. Maddie, reporting for Vanguard TV. LT Theater is preparing for its upcoming production of Little Women, which will be performed later this month. Alex Jones went behind the scenes to learn more about the work the actors and set crew put in prior to showtime. The LT Finals Department has been preparing for Little Women since the month of October about the life of four March girls trying to stand up for what is right for women during the Civil War. I think that when we looked at who we had last year as we finished last year's musical and what was coming up from, we're always, we've always been very good at telling stories um, that have to do with family and relationships within families. Little Women is about ladies within this family of trying to follow what their duties are in the society that they live in uh, compared to what it is that their dreams are telling them that they need to do. One of the lead roles is played by Brie Willingham as Joe March, who is a bold, outspoken, and brave character that believes that anything is possible for women in getting what they want. Brie Willingham has more on her experience with this character and how she is able to prepare herself for her character. So this was very exciting. Um, Joe March is one of my dream roles to play on stage, and I was just very excited to get this opportunity to play it for my senior year musical. So that's the main thing is that she. So I did a lot of vocal rehearsals and vocal strategies to help build my immunity for the role, and it's just a lot of preparation. The LT Finance Department performs Little Women on January 26th through the 28th, all at 7:30 p.m. And additionally at 2 p.m. on Saturday at the Lebanon Trail High School Auditorium. I'm Alex Jones, reporting for Vanguard TV. Lebanon Trail sports have continued to put up gritty performances and competitions even throughout the holiday break. Ethan Wu highlights the continued success of winter sports teams and the early achievements of the soccer team. Welcome to the latest update on the Blazers sports teams. As we continue the winter sports seasons, our athletes are competing at a high level, even during the holiday breaks. The girls basketball team has had a competitive season so far, facing off against tough opponents such as Liberty and Memorial High School. However, they were able to bounce back with a victory against Heritage and most recently against Centennial High School, with a final score of 52 to 40. Their overall record is now 18 wins and nine losses. This week, they will face off against Emerson in an away game on Friday at 6.30 p.m. The boys team has had a mixed season, with recent victories against Heritage and defeats against Liberty and Memorial. Their current record is 8 wins and 13 losses. This week, they will face off against Independence in an away game on Friday at 8pm. Moving on to the field, the girls soccer team has had a tough season start, with defeats against Forney, Pierce, and Odessa, as well as a tie against Creekview High School, with the final score of 1-1. Their current record is 0 wins, 3 losses, and 1 tie. This week, they will compete in a tournament at Grapevine High School's Mustang Panther Stadium. They will face off against South Grand Prairie at 11.30 on Thursday, Grapevine at 6.30pm on Friday, and Palo Duro at 9.45am on Saturday. We are the boys team has had a balanced season beginning with victories against Poteet, Newman Smith, and St. Thomas High School, defeats against Tyler Legacy, Seagullville, and West Mesquite High School, as well as ties against Sunnyvale and Salina High School. Their current record is 3 wins, 3 losses, and 2 ties. This week, they will compete in a tournament at Grapevine High School's Mustang Panther Stadium. They will face off against Copperas Cove at 8.15 p.m. on Thursday, Grapevine at the same time on Friday, and Louisville at 3 p.m. on Saturday. I'm Ethan Wu reporting for Vanguard TV. Thank you for watching Vanguard TV. I'm Megana Kuchipudi. And I'm Daniel Price. Blaze it, LT!